Forest. This is your weekly uh, oracle and tarot card reading for September 29th through October 7th or in and around those dates. Yes, if you are seeing this a year from now, a week from now, two weeks from now, it's the perfect timing for you. But that's definitely when this is recorded for and when I'm um, picking up the energies on. This is a general reading, so I'm not going to go too specific into romance unless it's just screaming at me. Um, but there's a full romance and in-depth tarot card reading that's an extended extended reading to this over on Vimeo. So that link is below. Taurus, for those of you who are on a platform that allows commercial breaks, there's a commercial break that's going to come up in about five seconds. Thank you so much for your patience as we wait through it, and I will see you on the other side. All right, Taurus, thank you so much. If you didn't have to wait through it, thank God. If you did, I appreciate I appreciate the patronage because whether you know it or not, just by your patience in watching the video, or I'm sorry, watching the commercial or waiting through the commercial, you supported the channel and it helps a great deal. So thank you so much. Taurus, let's get into your general energies. This is an oracle card. I'm using oracle cards, uh, not tarot cards right now. I use tarot on the other side, like I said. Uh, Taurus, what I'm looking for is the general energies for you, primarily affecting you, the general energies affecting you this week. So, life is speeding up, but it's turned upside down. So, Taurus, this could be you dealing with a Gemini who's literally turned your world upside down. Somebody who's made you feel things that you never thought you'd feel. Somebody who sort of whacked you upside the head. Not literally, I hope. But definitely something, there's, essentially there's, could be, you could be dealing with a Gemini, yes. But there's a circumstance in your life that's literally set you loopy and knocked you upside down. It's like turned you on your head. It's, um, it's for right now, what it's looking for is it's a good feeling, but it's a feeling like you haven't, you haven't felt these feelings for quite some time and you weren't expecting to feel them. You haven't been in this situation for quite some time. Taurus, it's almost like you're a fish out of water. It could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing, but what it is, is it's a new thing and it's a circumstance. And just the fact that it's new is not the most comfortable feeling for you. So it doesn't necessarily have to be this horrible thing is happening to you, Taurus. What is happening this week has is 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 new for you. It's different. And it's almost like your whole world has slowed down and gone into slow motion because you're just trying to make sense of things or you wish the world would go into slow motion because it was it's it seems like a whirlwind. It's like it's kind of toppled you over, almost like getting hit by a wave in the ocean where it like sucks you down and tumbles you around and around. It's like you can't do anything about it. You just have to go with the flow. But that's not exactly necessarily your style. Style. And so you're kind of getting jostled by this new predicament in your life. Could be, um, I mean, it could be anything. It could be a job. It could be you just moved somewhere. This is just a newer time in your life. And it feels, especially during a week or during a season that has everything to do with balance and harmony and reaching out and connecting with people, you're feeling like a fish out of water. It's almost like you're feeling like you can't connect with anybody. Um, like I said, it's not that you're, it's not that you're surrounded by bad people. That's not what it is. It's that you're, you're in a situation that is new for you. And it's, it's kind of, it's, it's just, it's almost like you're trying, you're, you're like kicking your legs in the air, but it's not doing anything. It's like, it's like you're running upside down. So it's like, you're not getting anywhere. So it feels like you're treading water and that's frustrating for you because you don't feel successful in this situation. You don't feel like you belong in this situation. And honestly, I feel like if you could, you would literally run back home and start over again or make the decision to never do it. There's something about this week that feels uncomfortable for you. Yeah. So let's see what it is. Let's see if we can get a little bit more, of some more answers. This is a two. You can see two, which is why this is using my Gemini card. If you're dealing with a Gemini specifically, they've basically knocked you for a loop. Like I said, I don't know if that's good or bad, but they definitely have. You don't know how to react. 
you've just never been here before and 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 that's not too comfortable for you but see this is a two you can see this is a in terms of um two there you go so what that means for me is this is um it's challenging this week for you to be part of a pair or be part of a situation to be coupled with whatever you're coupled with this week. So it doesn't have to be a person, but it definitely is um, hard for you to find a way to commune, like a find common ground between you and whatever you're dealing with right now. And honestly, Taurus, I feel like this is more having to do with you not adapting so well to change than it has to do with you not capable of adapting. It's just a mental block that's that's making you sort of churn your wheels or, or tread that water. It's not actually speaking to what you're dealing with because what you're dealing with is actually very much in your realm of capability and even your realm of comfort. And so this is more perceived. This is more perceived situation. I want to find out a little bit more about that. Oh, like I said, like I was going to say, this is Libra season, um, which is the season of communing one with the other, of, of relationships and sharing time with each other and understanding our place among other people. So what this is telling me is in a season of unions, in a season of partnerships, you don't feel like you're really united or in partnership with anybody. You don't feel connected in the situation that you're in. Next card out is porcupine. Time for a beginner's mind. Okay. This week, Taurus, is almost like you're being perceived as not wanting to be around anybody. Almost being very prickly. And I have this feeling I want to remember who... Oh, Capricorn. Look for that attachment above. Um, Capricorn. Um, you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, this could have been a situation where you feel like you were stagnant and you weren't getting anywhere and you were trying, making a lot of effort, but the other person was sort of unattainable or, or not, not cozy, not, not, um, soft enough, uh, not, um, receptive to your efforts. Like you weren't getting anywhere, but honestly, this is about a perception of you and how you are perceived this week, almost like you're bristling, you're angry all the time. People seeing you as somebody that's upset, as somebody who doesn't want to talk to or be around other people, somebody who, and this could be you also feeling ostracized for some reason for, for, yeah, feeling ostracized. Like you're the one that nobody wants to be around yet. This feeling of, of discomfort and lack of, um, like lack of connection lack of community um almost feeling like for some reason like i i feel like a defensiveness in you this week taurus like something has happened where you have to defend yourself or you're on sort of high alert at least you feel this toward a situation that was supposed to move really quick it had to do with really going fast but it's not it's like A situation that was supposed to be really easy going and, and quick moving and fun and playful. Almost like almost like fast and furious. Things are supposed to be going fast and furious this week and they're not. Instead, it's like everything is backtracking and there's a lot of sort of um, unharmonious circumstances that keep coming up 
for you to handle and deal with this week. And it's got you defensive, almost bristling with, do you really want to go there with me? Do you really want to say those things about me? Do you really want to behave that way? It's, it's brought out a side of you that is actually kind of um, pugilistic. Like you want to fight somebody. That's what I'm getting. Wow. Taurus. I mean, I don't, I don't judge that this is, that maybe I don't judge that this is your fault. I'm not saying this is your fault. What I'm saying is this is, this is, um, it's bought, like you're, people are going to get the horns of the bull this week. In a season where it's supposed to be harmonious and lovey-dovey, it's not harmonious and lovey-dovey. You're feeling a lot of clashes, a lot of pushbacks against who you feel you are or what you feel like you've contributed. This could actually be also, in certain circumstances, somebody from the past coming back in to reconcile for these things that were very... Um, Yeah, for these issues between the two of you to sort of smooth out the circumstance and try to um, quell the, any kind of um, any kind of tension that was a wow. I don't. I, I just this this is um for me. It's a surprising feeling to you because you're so you're usually so level headed, but this isn't a level headed energy. This is an angry energy. Mm, somebody's going to get the bull's horns this week. Be peace. So this is the Libra energy. This is the Libra card. It's almost like your higher self understands and knows that you have, that there is um, higher ground that you have to take and you're aiming for it. But at the same time, this little piece of you, almost in a devil kind of way, not devil, like yeah, almost in a mischievous kind of way, Taurus, it's like you, as you're, it's like the, the, the bird of happiness is flying over somebody's head and it's almost like aiming to take a shit on them while they pass over. Like, it's like, it's like that energy. It's like, yes, I want to be peaceful. Yes, I want to stand my higher ground, but I also want to dive bomb you. So I don't think that you're prepared for peace this week. I think the concept of peace is clashing with everything that you feel inside of you. This is somebody that's really got you on guard. Something. I keep saying somebody. Forget about somebody. It could be a somebody for some of you, but it's more like, um, oh, you want to make peace in this situation. You want this situation to be over with. But it pisses you off that it even happened to begin with. And now you're having to get through that level of having, like, being able to let go. And you're feeling kind of stuck. There's this, there's this stuckness in you this week of, I do want peace. I do want a resolution to this situation. But at the same time, I want to punch you in your face. Panther. Reclaim your power. This is draining you. This is an energy that is not flattering for you. It's not your best side. And you almost feel like, it's almost like you're it. It's your darker self. Ooh, Taurus, this week, get in, in touch with your shadow self. And this shadow self is ferocious and hungry. And it's almost like they want meat and blood. And you're trying to take the higher ground. It's like you're playing devil angel. You're, you, you do. You're, the best parts of you want this resolution. But the, it's almost like you want a resolution through fight. It's almost like let's take this outside and get this shit done. Because no matter how much you've tried, you can't seem to clean up this this relationship or this situation. It's like this person won't let you be. Even when you do try to make peace, even when you do try to 
Let bygones be bygones. This is somebody that keeps coming after you to needle you. This is just somebody that no matter how hard you try, you can't make things work with and they don't want to have peace with you. And so honestly, you're just like, well, then let's do this because I'm kind of sick of dealing with you. This is clear out the clutter. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. It's, it's, this is my Cancerian card, but beyond Cancerian, I don't really feel like it is Cancerian, not with you. You guys are actually way too compatible compatible for this to for this to be a cancerian but this is definitely somebody who has a grudge against you somebody who just no matter what they won't let things be it's like old baggage that they keep bringing up every single time you see them anytime they have an opportunity it's old baggage that 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 you that they won't let go. And even though you try to make peace or you think you've tried to make peace, the truth is deep down inside Taurus, you're kind of making half-hearted attempts for peace because deep down below the surface, you want this confrontation. You want them to come at you. Ooh, I can feel it. And I just got five, five, five. There's a huge change, Taurus. Something is flying off this week. It's like it's like a resolution to an old problem with an old person or an old situation that just won't let it be. It keeps coming back to nag at you, nag at you, nag at you. And it's almost like you're calling the situation out. You're taking the bull by the horns. No, no. The bull is presenting their horns and you're like, you're like throwing down. You're like, I'm not happy with this situation. I'm not comfortable here. This doesn't feel right. And I'm tired of you playing games. Ooh, somebody has literally got you on the, your last nerve, Taurus, this week. And you are, take, you are cleaning out the closet, taking out the trash. You are not eating any shit. And you are not, you just don't want to be stuck anymore. You don't want to be in this uncomfortable circumstance that always happens because of the situation or because of this specific person that just won't let things be. You're, you're really tired of it. You're, t you're, oh, you are fed the gut. Let me show you the cards. Taurus, you usually have such patience, but you know what? It's not your responsibility. It's not your responsibility to, to deal with other people's shit. It's not. And you are, you, you, you are a sign that likes to stand their ground and nobody should mess with you. No matter, look it, it's almost like you're guarded and protected this week. You're bristling because you know that they're full of shit. If they've even tried to pretend to be peace, they're not trying to be peace. They want to get at you. It's almost like you feel, ooh, it's a, oh my God. It's almost like this feeling of paranoia where they sent out their messenger birds to try to like pretend to be peaceful or to try to make it look like they were offering um, sort of an olive branch, but they're not really. This is like the light and dark side of you type of also the kind of clashing. You really do want to be beyond this situation, but you're stuck in it. You're stuck in it because somebody keeps bringing it up from the past. This is something that's lurking. And that's why to reclaim your power, you just want to be like, no, hell no, no more of this. You want to call somebody out almost publicly, I feel. Now, if this isn't a specific person, this is a situation that you've been trying to rectify and deal with, but it's not being dealt with. Like it, It's like it's not working. No matter how hard you try, no matter what efforts you put, you just are not fitting in and people's reaction to you is bristly at best. And honestly, this is like your, this is like a, your stubborn half popping out and saying, well, then I'm done. I'm finished. Clear out the clutter. For me at this point, this is just a bunch of BS. And I'm not satisfied being stuck here and hanging on or having you constantly throw up these past issues. It's almost like this person wants to take you backwards in time. Like this situation should have been over a long time ago, but somebody won't let it die. Ooh, you are like, you're like badass, like ironclad this week. You're like, come at me, go ahead. From any angle, from any angle. And this is like supposed to be sending in peace. This is Libra season. It's all, it could be Libra season itself is clashing with you because you don't want to make peace. You don't want to make peace with somebody. 
The way for you to make peace is to confront them and to call them out on their BS. There's this feeling of, I want to fight. I want to fight. I want to get to this. Taurus. Whoa. Somebody is definitely getting the horns of the bull this week. We're going to go over to Vimeo. I'm going to use tarot to find out who this is, what the circumstance is, what the necessary way through is, the resolution. Like, when did this start happening? Who is this? Who is this? Because they're making peace impossible. And it's, you don't, you honestly, you don't like the way you feel right now. Because this isn't your highest self. You want peace. You want resolution. And you also want to fight. God damn. Oh, okay. Well, I need some more details on this. I'll see you over on Vimeo.